Liverpool, Billy. Thank you very much. Uh, it's in the, over in the uh, last couple of fights, of the, the high of the Martinez fight, Rick has been favourite going into the fights that he that he's taken since then. Has that has that affected his mindset going into any of the fights? Because obviously there wasn't many people giving him a chance against uh, Martinez, but now he's, you know people are expecting him to win. Well, I expect him to beat Martinez. Yeah. And so did the people close to the camp. We know how good Ricky Burns is. We see it on a daily basis. And uh, I would I would favour him against any super featherweight in the world just now. Yeah. The fight with Cook is—is is that the fight you wanted for this? For this, you know, down in Liverpool, away from his home patch. Is it—is it—is it good to maybe test him on the road, away from you know the relative safety of the Bray Head and the Kelvin Hall? There's no relative safety when two boxers are in the ring. It's, it's you know two guys trying to make try to outdo each other and earn a living. It doesn't really matter where the fight is. Uh, but obviously, it helps with having the, your fans and your support behind you. It gives you that wee incentive. But Ricky's of the, the mindset where it doesn't matter where it is. Yeah. And he's just going to go in and do his job, and that's what we're here to do. How's training gone? What sort of sparring has he had? Who's he been sparring? What, what have you done for this fight? Uh, we've had some great sparring with uh, Paul Apple, who's joined my stable about four months ago. All right, yeah. And uh, he's come on leaps and bounds. I'm fully expecting him to win domestic titles this year. Uh, he'd done four, four solid weeks with Ricky Burns, and then Gary Butlin was good enough to come up from Wales at very short notice and gave him uh, 16 excellent rounds as well. Right, and uh, at the press, just finished the press conference here in the Crown Plaza in Liverpool, uh, Ricky looked very very relaxed. Is that the way he is going into all his fights, or is he, is he sometimes more uptight or edgy? No, he's always relaxed. You know, he's confident in his own ability without being overconfident, as we all are. And uh, he's really, I'm really looking forward to putting on this, a, a superb display tomorrow on Saturday night. What, what do you see as the uh, the main weaknesses in Cook that uh, Ricky can exploit? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> I know what his, his strengths and weaknesses are, and we've worked on them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, also, uh, on another subject, uh, there's been uh, a lot of lot of chitter chatter about uh, potential fight between uh, Choi and uh, Simpson. Well, what's what's your what's your take? What's been happening there? What's your take on that? Well, as far as I know, I, I spoke to Spencer Fearing yesterday, and he can't get a date in, in London uh, for the 16th of September. Yeah. Unfortunately, John John gets married. I think John gets married in the 8th in Cyprus. Yeah. So we gave him the option, we said we'd fight. You know, I, I think the fight could have been made on the 2nd or 3rd of September. Yeah. But uh, Spencer can't get the date. We would have helped him with a venue. I could have sold it 1500 in Glasgow if he'd have wanted to come up there, but they never came back. So. Oh, that's that pretty much dead in the water then, is it? I'll ask you a question. Can you honestly see John Simpson being uh, taking a scared to fight anybody? Well, he's never been so far. Why should they start now? Yeah. Oh. Listen, thanks very much for talking to us, buddy.